welcome to all the things. Today we are making TikTok cinnamon rolls. Uh, why do I have cat on me? Well, because I've tried to film this intro five times now and he keeps climbing up me every time. So we have a very needy cat that won't leave me alone. So this is our intro today. Uh, we've not made these cinnamon rolls before, but, and I don't have TikTok, um, but I've seen them online and they looked good and I thought we would give them a try. So that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, here's what we need. We need two cans of the Grand's cinnamon rolls. We're gonna need a cup of heavy whipping cream. We're gonna need a cup of powdered sugar. We need half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one third cup brown sugar, half of this, uh, four ounces of cream cheese, so half of this eight ounce block, and then we need eight tablespoons of butter, so one stick, but it does say we're gonna use half in the icing and half with the cinnamon rolls, so we'll, we'll cut that in half. Okay, I've got my pan sprayed. We're going to open our cinnamon rolls and put our, um, I just sprayed it with some non-stick cooking spray. And now we're gonna open these up and put all 10 rolls in here and we're gonna save the icing because we add it to the icing we're gonna make. Our oven, if I didn't say it a second ago, because uh, I can't remember if I did, our oven is preheated to 350. And now we pour over one cup of heavy whipping cream. It says pour it over each cinnamon roll and in between the cinnamon rolls. Okay. I'm gonna move this out of the way and we're gonna make some stuff that we're gonna put on top of here with some cinnamon and sugar. It says to melt half of, well, we're gonna melt all of our butter, but it says half of it in here. Just gonna pop that in the microwave for a second. Okay, to our half a stick of butter, we're gonna add a third of a cup of brown sugar and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Okay, now it says we spoon this over top of the cinnamon rolls. So let's bring those back. I'm just gonna put some on top of each one. Now it says we cover this with foil and put it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. And then this recipe that I'm following, it stops there. But other people that I've seen making them online have done an extra 10 minutes uncovered. So we will see what we think we need to do. We'll get these in the oven and then we'll make our icing so that it'll be ready when they get out. Okay, wash my bowl. We're gonna put this in the microwave and let it get soft for about 30 seconds or so, um, just half of this. I'm gonna go ahead and put my butter in there with it too. Just melt that at the same time in the microwave together. So it's four tablespoons of butter and half um, 
a package of cream cheese, eight, so four ounces. Okay, this is the cream cheese and butter, and I'm just stirring it together. And to that we add a cup of powdered sugar. And then we add in both of our things of icing that came in the package with the cinnamon rolls. So probably be easier with a hand mixer, but I don't feel like getting that out and then having to wash it. I know, that's lazy. It's the truth though. I don't know about taste yet, y'all, but it is. it smells really good. It smells really good. And I take that back about the hand mixer. I don't think we need one. Okay, now we'll just wait for our cinnamon rolls to get done. And then when they do, and we'll let them cool, we will put our icing on them. And then we'll give them a taste test. Okay, they've been in the oven for 30 minutes. They got really big in there. Um, they smell really good and they look really good, but they also look like they're still doughy. So I am going to put them back in the oven now for 10 more minutes uncovered and then we'll check them again and see if they're ready. See y'all in a few minutes. Okay, so we did do 10 more minutes uncovered. So we've done a total of 40 minutes of cooking, 30 minutes covered and 10 minutes uncovered at 350. And they do look much better now. So um, I think they definitely did need that extra 10 minutes. Now we're going to let them cool for 10 minutes and then we're going to ice them. Okay. I've let them cool for 10 minutes since they've been out. Now we're just going to put our icing on them and then we will get them out of here and taste them and see if they are any good. Okay, I took one out. We're gonna try it. Got it over here on my plate. Let me taste it for you real quick. Y'all make these that is so good okay I'm almost willing to compare it to a Cinnabon wow yes definitely make these very good if you like these videos I hope you'll stick around and subscribe thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one bye